Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to stream. It does like, seem this might be like, a little bit too loud. Maybe I'm crazy. Let's sound a little bit here. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the stream. So today, we're going to play a little bit of the Balkan Wars mod, which is available uh, on Steam. I'll probably put a link down uh, in the description. And if I haven't put a link in the description, please pester me to put a link in the description. Um, but uh, it's Thanksgiving. Uh, at least up here in Canada. So I figured why not play as uh, as, as Turkey? You know, it seems thematically uh, appropriate. There's no Turkey in this mod. We got the Ottoman Empire, but I, I figured that's close enough. That's close enough. So this mod, it kind of reminds me, if you remember all the way back, I think it might have been sometime last year, uh, we played Magna Europa, which essentially is just, uh, it was all of Europe, but on a bigger scale, so you can kind of maneuver around a little bit uh, more so. Uh, this is in a similar vein, but the only territory here, I want to make sure that, um, the main theme here should be fine. No shuffling. Um, because there might be some copyright music in that section. But anyways, this is that the same uh, situation, just on a bigger scale. You know, we have a bunch of provinces that are just, you know, they're much smaller. I think the states are actually the same size as they are in the base vanilla, but obviously... Uh, there are significantly more provinces that we actually need to cover with all of our soldiers. So we are going to be starting off now with, we have 80 divisions. So we got some, tw I'm guessing this is just 20 combat with. We got some 10s, we got some 7 twos and some military pleases. We have no aircraft, we have no fleets. We can maybe try to build up some of those. I will say right off the bat, I have no idea how long this series will be. This could either be end up being like a 30 minute segment and just be one video, or it could end up being like two hours. I'm really not too sure, but it is August 1st, 1912. The Balkan War will be beginning quite soon. Uh, get some infrastructure here, land forts around the capital, one military factory, and some factories in Western Thrace. Here's my thought. It's because Macedonia, I can actually see that being pretty useful, but other than this, I really don't see getting preparations around Constantinople being that meaningful to us. But I honestly think we can kind of just ignore all of those focuses. Save our political power that we'll be gaining and using it for, um... I guess conscription laws. So actually we don't have any military staff at all. So yeah, probably maybe some conscription laws and maybe some mobilization laws as well. That, I think that seems better than the garbage focus that we have the Ottoman Empire. But very, very soon, I mean, you arm these people and then... You know, they, it takes maybe like two months, I think, for them to actually attack us. So we have, we have about too much preparation. Hopefully we won't die right away. Game on to speed five. Of course, we have no aircraft. So what I'm, what I'm thinking... We get some 1913 rifles, construction speed. I mean, because it's, it's just a campaign on a very, very short scale. We've really got to think about what actually we need. Like, will construction speed 138 days? Will that actually be that useful for us? 180 days for rifles. I honestly don't really think so. I actually need to um, also just screw my microphone in. It's kind of a little bit loose. I apologize. That was uh, a little bit loud. We're gonna get some anti union divisions. Your 300 days. I guess we'll go for the basic rifle. We'll go for the 1912 artillery upgrade. 1933? Okay, we're not going to get any planes at all this playthrough. So we can ignore that then. Good superior firepower seems fine. And aside from that, 1924 for the tanks, recon companies, I guess we'll go for reinforcement rate. All those seem okay. Just some factory, we got 46. We'll use that primarily to build military factories. We'll build military factories. As far away from the front lines as, as humanly possible. Get a lot of value the next 13 rifles since all the Europeans will be using them. Mounts, I don't like will mountaineers be useful? I'm not too sure. I, I also I will uh, say that I have at least tested this mod out uh, beforehand. Let's get all of our units into armies. I know the tutorial. I will go through it just for the sake of this uh, stream and video. There's our 80 units. So, Royal Event. Welcome to the Balkan Wars. So we got some scripted peace deals to the first Balkan Wars. This is really all that matters for us. 
So the Ottomans, we capitulate if we get to the 50% uh, surrender progress. Bulgaria, they get the 55%. Serbia at 40, Greece at 64, Montenegro at 80. So we gotta basically 100% kill Montenegro. But the Balkan League will get army debuffs along the war last. The first one will be in July 7, 1913. And the second one will be in October... Either October 1st or January 10th. What am going on? Not, not go off. And there'll be another one, I'm assuming, okay, on uh, April 14th. Focus region don't care about known bugs. I already know the known bugs. Basically, we cannot promote leaders. Um, we do have some leaders here we do want to utilize in the future. Obviously, I think these troops here, you are going to be on the Greek front. I think this island's completely separated. We really can't do anything about that. We'll send the troops from Albania down towards the south. You guys will be put you on Bulgaria for now. Like these units. You guys are going to be on the Serbian front. Put them here. And then all of you will be on the Montenegrin front. You have 31 units on this line. Probably a little bit too many. We probably actually want to do is we'll get some of these troops from purple. Put them onto this southern front here. Actually, that's probably going to be a little bit too many. But yeah, 24. You have five armies for five different fronts. Assign ourselves one overall field commander. Assign some decent generals. Again, we do not want to press this button. This button crashes the mod. So we're not going to assign or upgrade any of our generals, as unfortunate as that may be. Have all of our generals in place, which is fantastic. We have two more military factories with those. We have transport planes. I, I don't see those being useful at all. We could maybe build some. We do not have your torpedo tubes. We, we could build some. Yeah, just build submarines. And we can maybe try to do, like, some sort of naval combat. We'll go, let's say, two more on artillery. I mean, other than that, like, these, this is all we're going to be building. Like, the transport planes to do paratroopers, but I, I highly doubt we have paratroopers for this campaign. We'll get a lineup towards Bulgaria. Get a lineup towards Serbia. Prepare an invasion to Montenegro. And, of course, we'll get some troops ready to go down into Greece. Down towards Athens. Makes sense to me. But again, we have like roughly two months. Also, time passes very, very quickly because there's only like four tanks in this mod. Um, tutorial event in K-Way. We don't care about the tutorial event anymore. And we do want to be training up some more units. We got our 20 combat with. And we got our 7 twos. We got some recruits. I'm really not too sure what the difference here are. Oh, you're apparently special templates. Okay, I don't know why you're special, but you know. So be it. We have 2.5 thousand rifles here in storage. Honestly, I think we get like a handful of tens and what the tens are going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to hopefully Do some naval invasions maybe into Greece And we have top priority for reinforcements and for yeah, just just reinforcements So we got five of you We'll go ten on you And we'll build let's say three of you guys for now To me that seems more than acceptable by the way, do we have a naval base anywhere further down south? We do. We actually have a lot of naval bases on all these islands. But that really shouldn't matter, I believe. Again, we're just going to basically save all the political power. Because our focus is that the Ottomans are not that good. Yeah, so I think we just ignore you for now. You need to be producing as many guns as humanly possible. You will be missing rifles for 157 days. Honestly, not that bad. And basically, everything else is just going to be put into rifle production. How long do these take? You know, on the 20th of September. Oh, that's actually pretty, that's pretty fast. I'm completely okay with those numbers. Uh, of course, we do still have some resistance. I'm assuming that's in our Balkan territories. Yeah, Thessalonica, Albania, some territory on the borders. That, it, it should, I think, be fine. We at least have all of Montenegro covered. We do. And we got a big lake right there. What we want to do, if we can kill Montenegro first, just because they, I mean, they've got to be the weakest of the factions, right? Also, is Serbia abandoning this front line? They actually are, which, I mean, I'm 
not going to complain about it. If they don't want to be there, that's fine. And of course, we're immediately being prepared to be getting attacked by Serbia, Montenegro, Greece, and Bulgaria. Everyone has decided, hey, the Ottoman Empires, they suck. We hate them. Uh, which is rude, I would say. We need this island. And there's no victory points on it, so I'm going to go and say no. Not command power. That's really only going to be useful for holes or force attack. Okay, Bulgaria's already started a war. Everybody declared war in the exact same time. We'll be done on the 31st. And I'm assuming, again, we don't have a navy. We actually have two ships. But nobody else has ships, so we actually immediately get 100% naval superiority. Give me this, these ships. I guess there's a sign of random commander. And apparently the entire ocean counts as one sea zone. I mean, that works out well for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately deploy these troops in a naval base. Do I have naval invasion tech? I should check that, huh? No. And it's 1,042 days. So my plan is already uh, has hit a snag, let's just say. Yeah, we can see there is a lot of Serbian troops. Montenegro... I mean, kind of everyone, I think, has decent troops. And I don't really see anywhere we can break through right away. We're already taking some damage near Constantinople. We can hopefully get our troops to hold the line. They're being attacked against you. Attack against you. Some movements against these guys. What about you? Probably fight this unit as well. And we're really, we're really just looking at like where do we see low? Um... Yeah, like you two can definitely attack with some supporting fiber from you. Sixty-five. Breaking through this line. And I'm, I'm, I'm seeing where we can definitely get our... Uh, get our first positions in here working okay. Do I not see enough ground to cover this army? Apparently I don't. Which is not, like, great. Like, how many troops does Montenegro have? 8 to 33. I guess we only have 13 troops on that front, which is, like, not very good at all. And reach this line. Thing is, like, they do start off with quite the number of men. So actually, we probably want to deploy these units immediately. I'm gonna deploy you guys to Montenegro. I guess they can go by sea. I mean, that, that's one benefit we have. And Greek troops are attacking into us, which means we can hopefully at least do. Some counterattacks along the line. Yeah, we can push into Greece through you. 84%. We just need to kill a handful of countries, right? But apparently you're already being pushed back, which is, you know, sad news. You've already been pushed back as well by these three units. Thing is, like... I'm, I'm assuming we're outnumbered, right? 752, even at their minimum, they do have more units than we do, which is a little scary. I will have to admit. The Balkan Army of Chaos, our main military force occupied the war, I see a way the Balkan states have used the opportunity to catch off guard and ambush our borders. So we just have a debuff now. Army attack and defense. Okay, excellent. Thank you for those debuffs. That's exactly what I think I needed this time was to be a weaker country. 24 stack. Uh, can I, wait, can I not last stand? I cannot last stand. At least given the, um, the circumstance of the mod right here. Did you do anything? No, you're kind of stuck where you are. Get this guy dead. Be able to push our way through you. Maybe do some damage along this guy as well. I'm wondering if it would make ah like would it make sense for us to unify Montenegro and um Serbia? Like abandon this smaller area here. It's different than the Great War Redux. Yes, because it's only the Balkan War. That's that's the only war that's actually in this mod. I mean actually there's actually the 1992 war as well, but 
I'm actually going to do it. I think we're actually going to abandon these positions for now. Give those to Montenegro. Give them to Serbia. It's not going to be great to begin with. But I think for our long-term survivability, we kind of have to. But the thing is, like, we've taken some big penalties now. Of course, it's, like, not what we want. Also, I like naval evasion support just in the middle of the map here. I guess just, like, convoy raid. I don't really know what else we can have you do. Things like with our debuffs that we've immediately gotten from the very start of this campaign, like it's really not great. Also, the Bulgarians have already me like pushed through our territory. What if we were to like try to cut them off? Maybe get like some sort of encirclement going. God, they've already they've really already pushed through my territory, huh? Okay, strategically stop stop attacking. Strategically redeploy here. Again, just for the moment to get you out of this area. Okay? A simple task, a simple request. The thing is, like, also, the map is so large, it's kind of hard to deal with everything. Oh, you're being attacked. Bulgaria. You suck. Okay, we, we push our way through you. Hopefully we can push our way through this guy again. Again, we, we lose if they get 50%. So it's like we can lose a little bit of land. Of course, we don't want to lose too much. But if we lose a little bit, it's not horrible. What if you actually were to support this attack? Like, you feel like you have enough supply, or not enough supply, enough organization. Okay, we lose some political power, but we're no longer at war with... We got the Balkan War as a penalty here. Max entrenchment gets 20%. Attack was 30%. Construction speed plus 20. And war in the sand. But that is over. We're no longer fighting the, um... Your train time. Train time doesn't really matter so much. But we're no longer at war with Italy. In Libya, so I guess that's a bonus for us. Boy, whatever troops they can. I don't care if they're garbage. I kind of need them on the field. Are they really going to cut my troops in Bulgaria in half? No, they, they wouldn't do that to me. Right? They, they wouldn't immediately allow me to get killed. I'm hoping. You're just going to Montenegro, right? Yes. Take the territory of Montenegro where we can. And probably push through the Serbians here. 30, 52. Hold your position. Hold your position. Can we attack you because you're going to be multiple combats? Thing is, like, basically on every single front line, at least at the moment, we're outnumbered. Which I will say, on the record, is, you know, bad for us. We don't want to be outnumbered if we, if we can avoid it. I will take the 1913 artillery. We're still missing 26,000 rifles. It's going to take 407 days on this. Get rid of the 10 stack. We don't need them. I think they're basically a little trash. And Bulgaria's already cut the Ottoman Empire in half. We at least have ports. And our supply lines are, for the most part, okay. But the Bulgarians are real assholes about it. How many troops we got on this side? Now, all of you need to be here. And yeah, all of you are now on this line. But I actually think... Get all of you. We're just going to assign you to a different general. Because it's like, it, it's not... Great. You're here as well. It's not great that this has happened, okay? I, I think we can all agree on that. It's not great that we immediately got our country cut in half. Honey man, we got 14 on you. You're gonna deploy on this side, please. 
And there's just so much land we've got to, uh, to cover and secure. If this season we're taking these penalties. Balkan League Factory outputs better. I think the Balkan War is the same benefit for everyone. But having Balkan Army and Chaos is not great. I'm actually just going to double check when our... Or when their debuffs start to actually uh, tick in. Um, First Balkan War. First debuff is on July 7th next year. So we've, we've got about... Eight months until... Until they start taking some debuffs. I do... Th we should last eight months. I would have to hope. Do not be attacking. You attack here. That's fine. But, like, why are our units... I feel like our units are just, like, not that good. Country, negative 13%. I mean, I know Balkan Army Chaos is, like, not helping us. And I guess we will just take our focuses. Maybe, maybe that'll do something in the long run. I don't know. I wouldn't mind more troops on the Greek border as well. It really sucks that naval invasions are just completely out of the picture. Because naval invasions are, I would say, pretty good most of the time. You guys are pulling down here. I think it actually kind of makes more sense maybe for you to push in like this. You support... You push in, you push in. Okay, radio's done, giving us a little bit of some uh, attack bonus. Research speed, I think, is worthless here. But I will take factory output. On something like that. You hold your position. Do not be attacking. Attacking doesn't make any sense for what you're up to right now. assist or units assisting on this line I would love if we can maybe send some units to try to push away up through Montenegro we do have some units coming in here slowly but surely got two units low organization there I mean one free military factory one military factory is incredible but I'll definitely take it. We're missing 13,000 rifles for reinforcements, huh? It's going to be a long and bloody war. Whole position. Three units on the Greek border. Like, I know the Ottomans historically lost this war. But I'm just built different, you know? To help assist this battle. And how many men do you have? 45 to 76. I'm assuming intelligence agencies... No, they actually still exist. We'll get an intelligence agency. Maybe we can do something there. I'm not too sure what we'll be able to get done. But perhaps something. Got, like, good defense. Full position on Montenegro. Like, killing some... We need to kill somebody, right? We've killed more than we've lost. Those, those, that's always a good start for us. There's going to be multiple combat. Should give you a penalty. I say it should, but clearly it's actually not. Unfortunately. I guess we'll fortify the gap, the gap, the, the gap in Western 3. Yeah, positions right now, I think, are... Fairly secure. Definitely move troops here. We're going to be pushed back one province. 